Hey guys, Boomer here. Uh, gonna make a quick video on the trades today. Not gonna go in too much detail or any rants or anything like that. Uh, I'm just gonna keep it kind of short and sweet here on what happened today. So it's uh, February 6, 2023. Um, opened up, let me make this a little bit. You can see the uh, top there, overnight low, overnight high. Pretty much stayed in a range all day um, between those two uh, markers. So I'll make it a little bit bigger now. All right, so um, just before I got up, I woke up. Uh, you know, I had marked this trend line, but there really wasn't anything plain. So um, at about 8.30, I just kind of let I just kind of took it off and let it be, and I was just looking for something either goes to the top of the range or it comes back down to the bottom of the range and breaks through. I wasn't sure exactly what was going on uh, really at, at this point or any point for that matter. I mean, you could have made the argument that that was a uh, – Second entry short, um, but a failed second entry short, sorry. But um, bottom line is we were kind of coming down here, so I definitely wouldn't have taken that trade. Um, I actually know one individual that took this short here um, and ended up being a loss. That's a really good signal bar too. <coughs> but um, I would have been waiting for a, if I was taking that trade, I definitely would have been waiting for a lower um, high underneath the, um, underneath the uh, 21 EMA. I know a lot of people that take trades like this um, and that's great if they can get away with it. I just don't trust it. Uh, that 21 EMA is a marker for a reason and um, it really does provide a good bearing on uh, the direction of the trend and it's a really good spot to take trades. So I, um, I definitely don't take trades like this, but I know... Um, you know, I know some people in Max Room and things like that take trades like this. I just don't. I keep it a little bit simpler than that. Um, but that doesn't mean that they're bad trades. It's just that I don't take them. So anyway, in, in saying that, uh, this moved all the way up and actually the failed second entry short would have worked. And uh, from here, we really don't have anything going on. I mean, if you make the trend line <sighs> coming down here after the double top, you can see that you had a break and a new low. So that trend's over. And then if you make the, uh, this is one thing I don't like about NinjaTrader is that you have to redo that every single time with the trend line. Um, you can make that argument that that is a break and a retest right there, uh, which it is. And then that one played out. So it doesn't just stay on. It drives me crazy. Think or swim is so much easier that way. But um, I have noticed that I'm gearing more toward NinjaTrader later, lately, but I do take, I do take think or swim on my other monitor as well. It's just that it's about a half a second faster uh, when the market's fast on, on NinjaTrader than it is on Thinkorswim. Here you go. You had a break and really nothing, which shows a little bit of weakness. But uh, for the most part, we just had consolidation, a little bit of a range, I should say, consolidation, kind of one and the same. So I'm really waiting for, uh, at that point, I'm really waiting, for, oops, trying to make it for you here so you can kind of see what I was looking at. I was really waiting for that to break out or to break out um, before I was even considering taking a trade. And um, then it finally did break out through here. So I was looking for shorts, looking for shorts. And then we had a bounce off the overnight high. And immediately my bias is, as it gets above that 21 EMA, I'm looking for longs. I get that <coughs> we're in a downtrend, but we're really not. Um, if you look at just the range of today, um, when it bounces off those overnight lows like that, uh, that's a good indication to me that we're going to continue moving up. Um, actually, you had a really good trade, but the signal bar was just too big. Um, you had a first entry short, second entry short failure with a really nice signal bar. Um, it wouldn't have gotten you in, but I know some people that take the trades where uh, when it goes like that, they actually put their uh, entry one tick above the previous bar as it um, engulfs it, and they take that trade. And if you would have taken that trade, you would have had a winner uh, for sure. That's what I was waiting for. It just didn't happen. That, that bar is just too big, and it didn't get you in anyway. Um, I could have seen dropping a limit order maybe down here, but, um, it didn't even give me an opportunity to do that. So, um, and saying that, uh, just kept moving up, 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 up above the uh, 200 EMA. We had a break and then we had a new high, uh, not all the way to the overnight highs, but those were a little hard to read anyway, close enough to where I was, uh, definitely now that it turned, we had the break and the new high. I definitely was playing range rules like this was the top of the range and now I'm looking for shorts where we had a first entry short, second entry short um, uh, failure. I'm sorry, uh, first entry long, second entry long failure. 
Um, and that was an easy scalp uh, for 10 ticks there. And um, from there, as we got a trend line moving down, we get our first break of the trend line. Okay, so there's your first entry. Okay, that's your first entry short. Here's your second entry short. And I get this signal bar is terrible. Think or swim, it closed right on the low there. Um, so I was uh, I was all set with another 10 ticks there. And um, yeah, it I mean, it literally closed right on the low. Um, there's, there's where I got out, I believe. Yeah, so um, anyway, so that was a really good trade. Um, that's why I like having both charts open because the signal bar didn't show what I needed it to show on Ninja Trader, but on Thinkorswim it did. So um, yeah, anyway, it worked out. Uh, it worked out really, really well. Two uh, two trades for me today, both scalps, but nice to start the week um, in the positive after what had happened last week. And again, you get your break and you get your retest. <coughs> and then from there, you just get garbage. Um, so when this happens, what I'm waiting for, usually, when we start to get really rangy like this, is um, I'm just waiting for it to break out one way or the other. Um, so I, go, I I don't need to do this, but I, I I'll do it for this purpose. Um, I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for the, one of these lines to get uh, broken through uh, before I, you know, and, and not to say that I wouldn't take, because this is a decent size range. What is that? I mean, it's, it's not decent. I guess it's 11 points, but... And not to say that I wouldn't take something that bounced off here and created a um, failed second entry short if I had room, um, or the same thing here. Actually, here you had uh, you had a first entry long, second entry long failure. So see, I know we didn't get a signal bar, but that would have worked for a trade as well. Not to say I will never take those, um, but I really the higher probability trade in my mind is when it breaks through here, and then I'm really well, I'm done done for the day. But then I'm looking for a uh, Looking for a trade up here um, as soon as it breaks. And uh, actually, if you look at that proper properly, uh, there's your break and then there's your new high. You can see right there how that slightly did break if you're taking the initial trend and then there's your new high. Um, and then from there, sometimes it's easier to see these after the fact. I'm done trading at this point. so. Um, but then there's your uh, there's your break, and then there's your <coughs> your retest. But really, you get a new low over here. The interesting thing about this, not that I was trading again at this point, but you have your first entry short, second entry short, um, and then you do get that that new low. Where are we here? And you do get that new low right down here. And actually, um, I'm thinking maybe it was more like that. Let me see if it fits on the other side. Yeah, that was it, definitely. All right, so that's actually the trend right there. Um, and you, the easy way to tell is if it fits on the other side. So I think what you're expecting here, granted it is we are in range, um, but I think what you're looking for here, you had a pretty strong move up, and uh, now you got your first entry short, second entry short. I'm thinking you'll probably at some point get a retest down here, but I'm not, you know, again, when it's in a range, it's a little bit different. Um, but I'm, you know, if I, if I had to, if I had to guess one way or the other, I'd say expect at least an attempt at a retest down here as we did get the first break of the, um, of the trend and it's not a weak trend. I mean, it didn't slow down here actually. Um, so I would, I would expect, I mean, you guys can watch that later and see what happens and say you're right or you're wrong. Um, but I'm expecting it to come, come back down here and I don't believe we're under 50%. Let's just take a look here. Yeah, you're right at fifty percent. So I'm still expecting, still expecting a retest. Um, now you get you get above sixty one percent, and that's probably when I'm not expecting a retest. But you're, I think you're going to get an attempt down here. Um, that's why first entry short, second or first entry long, second entry long failure. That was actually a trade right there. If I were trading at this point, I would have taken that trade. Um, again, so you got right here, you got your first entry long, you got your second entry long failure, and you're still, based on the context, you're still expecting, let me get rid of that, you're still expecting a uh, retest of the low. That's a huge signal bar. So what I would have done, what do we got, 21.5? It's not actually not as big as it, it's just that the, mar um, <coughs> in comparison to the other ones, but I probably still would have dropped, um, dropped something right about here, maybe, try to get a couple ticks back. 
um, so it's not so huge. Um, probably would have done that and then uh, gone for 12 ticks. I believe that's where we're at. So I would have been trying to go down to right there is probably where I would have set it as my uh, my initial target. Um, but anyway, uh, I don't trade past this time, past noon, really past one, because the market does get a little funky. Uh, it's a little bit not as predictable as what we always have um, in the mornings. But again, I would say the context tells me that we're going to be expecting a retest of these lows. Again, we'll see what happens and how it all plays out. But that's all I got, guys, today. Um, I am not uh, feeling too hot today. Oops. I got this uh, annoying little cold that won't go away um, that my kids gave back to me when I gave, well, can't gave to me, I should say, when I got home. So, um, but other than that, it was a good day, two for two. Can never complain about that. Hope you guys had success today as well.